I'm Dr. Art Epstein. Uh, very happy to be here. I practice in Phoenix, Arizona at Phoenix Eye Care and the Dry Eye Center of Arizona. Uh, the practice was created by intention and uh, my primary interest and focus has been dry eye for quite some time. I know it's a hot topic. I know a lot of you are interested in dry eye, so I thought I'd share some pearls uh, that I've uh, figured out over the years that I've been doing this. The first is how do you get dry eye patients? I, I realize your office is filled with them. Uh, but getting them into the chair as a dry eye patient is a very different story than having the patient just come in for a routine exam. So one of the ways of doing that is to do some initial screening using a speed test or an OSDI. Uh, you can identify these patients, have the uh, questionnaire scored by a technician uh, at the time it's completed by the patient. The issue of dry eye and the symptoms can be brought up and uh, uh, additional testing can be suggested by the tech uh, as the patient goes through the examination process. Another great way of doing it is using mybography in a screening mode. In other words, doing uh, perhaps just an inferior lid uh, or both inferior lids, uh, which can be brought up during the examination, either during the anterior segment portion or at the end of the examination. Uh, and the patient can be uh, educated about the importance of meibomian glands and their specific situation. I think you'll find that many patients have significant loss of meibomian glands which is a major, major issue. Uh, the alternative is actually to focus on dry eye in a, in a more holistic way, which is what we did. We created a practice within a practice, and I see almost exclusively dry eye patients who come in specifically for dry eye. Uh, mybography is a key element in it. We use the Keratograph 5M as our primary instrument. Not only does it do mybography, but it also does a number of other tests, such as non-invasive breakup time, tear meniscus height, uh, tear film dynamics, or redness index, which is becoming increasingly important. So it's kind of a Swiss army knife of uh, anterior segment testing. Uh, after the technician is finished, a patient is brought to the room uh, and I go over the results with them and educate them about their dry eye and about the issues that they have uh, as well as uh, how we can uh, address those issues uh, through additional therapy. Uh, management of the practice is relatively straightforward. Get it out there that your focus and interest is dry eye. Uh, we use a web presence, which I think is very, very strong, phoenixdryeye.com. Uh, we get a lot of patients through the web uh, portal. Uh, we also get patients uh, referred by optometrists in the area as well as ophthalmologists. Uh, we have a cornea group, a glaucoma group who refers. Uh, the more you do of it, the better you get at it, the more you utilize instrumentation to increase your ability to diagnose and treat. Uh, the more effective you become and the greater the word uh, about your skills and the more, uh, I guess, it propagates uh, as time goes on. Uh, it's one area that I think is amazingly enjoyable. You know, we sometimes uh, neglect uh, how uh, horrible dry eye can be. It literally consumes the patient's life and it's one of those great opportunities where you can change someone's life in just an instant.